So this is where we start to construct our donut and start putting it together. And this is probably um, best if we hold it together with a few pins. And given that you had now got some scrap fabrics, you could practice to do your slip stitch which is the little stitch that goes over and around, over and around. Okay, and we're doing all of this just on the right side. We're not doing this on the wrong side of the fabric. So you can choose a color. I might just do it in a bright color so you can see what I'm doing. Again, single layer thread. So this was a thread that I prepared earlier. moisten my finger and create my knot now to secure our knot we want to go between the two layers we don't want our knots obvious so we're just going to pop a little stitch between the two layers and bring that through so the knot gets hidden inside. Okay. And all we are doing for a slip stitch is just getting the smallest amount of fabric, but keeping it even all the way through. I'm just trying to get that to focus. So it's only caught a tiny amount of fabric. There we go. And we're bringing it through around. Moving along a little bit. And the trick is catching both layers of fabric. Moving it around a little bit. And you can see all I'm doing is starting to loop that around and around. through those layers. And there are a few layers, so you've just got to be a little bit careful. You can double check to see if you're catching it. Remove the pins as you're going around. And you can see there that I've caught it and there's no holes. Okay. And you're just working your way all the way around that circle. So at this point we're still not putting any stuffing in it. All we're doing is closing this center circle.
Okay, so we've come to the end of that. Just go past it a little bit. So you've doubly secure. Now before you knot your or cut your thread, just open it up and make sure, follow it all the way around and make sure that you haven't got any holes. Because sometimes it gets a bit tricky and you may have a hole, so you might have to go back and fix that up. Okay, so once you've done that, you can actually push your needle between the two layers. So you can see I've pushed that inside the two layers. And then I'm just going to knot it in here just to secure it. So all I've done is picked up the purple fabric, not any of the icing so you don't see the thread come through. And just one more just to secure it. And then trim that off. Okay, so you're almost there, almost done. So that's the center of your donut done.